Lodge cast iron skillet seasoning instructions step by step. Recently, I recorded a video that said, can you put a cast iron skillet in a dishwasher? And you can see that right here. But we're gonna show you how we're gonna fix this and restore this Lodge cast iron skillet to its uh, best use. And so let's get to that. So here's the skillet as we're taking it out of the dishwasher. And as you can see, all the finish and seasoning is completely gone. And I mean, rust has started to form immediately on this skillet. So you definitely don't ever want to put a cast iron skillet in a dishwasher to try to clean it. But this is what it looks like. I mean, it's rusted all over, even the handle. And uh, But anyway, this is something that we can fix. So it's not a total loss, but... Uh, you know, just FYI, do not put a cast iron skillet in the dishwasher unless you want to lose all of your seasoning. And we don't want to do that. We want to have a good seasoned pan. So the first step, what we're going to do, we're going to rinse all this uh, rust out. And then we're going to dry the pan, heat it up, and dry all any moisture out of it. We're going to rub a little bit of bacon grease in this. Now, I use bacon grease. You can use pretty much any type of grease that you uh, like to use. But I use bacon grease, lard, and I use Crisco. But today we're going to be using bacon grease on this skillet. And so we get it rubbed down and oiled up. And we're going to get ready and put this thing in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. So we've got our pan here that has been lightly oiled down. And so we're just going to kind of rub this down a little bit and uh, wipe that oil in. As a matter of fact, I've got a little bit of bacon grease here. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm going to take a, about a teaspoon of oil of uh, bacon grease. And we're just going to rub this all over inside. And uh, we're doing this cold. I mean, it's going to heat up in that oven. So it's going to uh, heat all the oil up and uh, absorb into the iron. So anyway, we're going to do the top and the bottom and, and even the handles and get everything uh, rubbed in real good so it'll bake into this cast iron. And that's how you uh, bake in a, a coat of seasoning onto a large cast iron skillet. So we'll continue to rub all these little nooks and crannies get every little spot in here and be sure and get any excess because we don't want any oil pooling up into the skillet and so what we're going to do we're going to get ready and uh, place the skillet in the oven like i said we've got a 350 degree preheated oven but we're going to place this thing on the top rack and we're going to flip it upside down that way any excess will drip off and won't pull up into the skillet Hey, well, the timer just went off. It's been one hour, so let's get my oven mitt on here. Let's get this thing out because she is hot. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that turned out nice. Look how that baked onto that skillet. I mean, it's starting to develop a uh, coating of seasoning, and that's what our objectives were. That's what we're wanting to accomplish. So front and back, top and bottom looks real good. So what we're going to do, we're going to get ready and and uh, do this another time or two and that's how you create seasoning i'm gonna wipe a little bit of this out i mean there wasn't any excess but i just want to double check and make sure there's not but it looks good i'm gonna show you this one more time see what you think about it i mean that's uh that's pretty good right there for the first time coating of that uh cast iron skillet after it was in that dishwasher and removed all the seasoning from it so just to recap all we did basically we was clean the, the rust out of the skillet we took and wiped it down real clean, added some bacon grease to it, wiped that around on the skillet, placed it upside down in the oven for 350 degrees for one hour, baked that off. We're letting it cool off naturally for one hour, and uh, then uh, we're going to do it again. I mean, the best way to do this is just do it a couple, two or three times, or just continue to cook uh, bacon grease in it or whatever. And so you'll have your large cast iron skillet seasoning uh complete and it'll be basically non-stick you can use that skillet from here on out so anyway hey youtube has placed a video right here specifically for you click on that and we'll see you guys over there later on y'all have a great day it's mike over here at mr cast iron